welcome to the Crafty Maven Getaway. I'm Desiree's Tell here on YouTube and today is Kit It Up where we take a kit that we uh, made and then we create a layout with it. So today I'm going to be doing a pocket page spread for mine and let me go ahead and show you the kit that I have. So I have it all contained in this little uh, caddy right here and I just went through um, very old Studio Calico uh, pocket cards that I had and I started pulling out colors that I thought would coordinate really well with the photos. And as soon as I found this color palette right here, that is the color choice that I decided to go with. So I made sure I had a neutral. I grabbed some yellows, orange, and teals, and that is going to be my pocket, my four by six cards. Then I went through the three by four cards and did the same thing as well, uh, just repeating the same colors so that way they all go together. So here is some of my three by four cards. These, one of them's L Studio, some of them are my mind's eye. And I guess a couple of them do have the square edge. I wish they all were square edge, but at the time, all pocket cards were made uh, with uh, rounded corners and so I don't mind mixing that up and no I'm not gonna round them <laughs> I know that's probably gonna drive some people crazy but uh, I just it doesn't matter to me at all so I'm just gonna do it I've done it before and it does not bother me at all so then uh, next I grabbed this my mind's eye overlays for photos I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use this but I definitely thought maybe I could possibly use it so um going to keep that in there and then I had these geotags which I absolutely love to use when we go somewhere uh, I have some little L studios uh, that I thought I could use some of that teal that I've already uh, brought in from the cards then I had these L studio stickers none of them match except for the orange so a couple of the oranges might work on a couple of the uh, cards in pictures and then I kind of went through my bits and bobs basket and I found some yellow pieces that I had. In fact, this one you're gonna laugh at because I, where's this? Well, I'll come to it in a minute. Uh, but then I found this little ticket that I thought worked well with the, the teal, even though it's a little bit more saturated, I'm okay with that. I found another piece of that yellow that I thought was perfect just because of where we were at. Uh, then I found this banner that said happy day. And then, and again, this came all from my bits and bobs basket. And if you're wondering what that is, if you don't follow me on my YouTube channel, it is just a basket that I kind of throw little things in there that maybe I was using and uh, I don't want to put it back in my stash because it's so tiny. And I just keep it in this basket and what I do is that every time I do a layout, I always go through this first to see if there's anything that I might use for that layout. So I did find uh, this whole piece of label that I could use, more of that yellow, again, um, some more labels, and then I found this little frame and then I have a few more pieces in here. I found this flower. I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna use that, but I definitely just put it in there just in case. I found again that yellow, it's a little bit different tone, but I know when I separate those and not put them side by side, I will definitely be able to use it. And then I found this little thing that said, she said, so this came from some cut apart sheet, but this one's blank, so I might be using that as well. And this is the part I said you're gonna laugh at because I must have been, working on something that I didn't have a lot of this color that I saved this little tiny scrap and it made its way into my bits and bobs. So as soon as I found that, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use these up. <laughs> so even though they're tiny pieces, the tiny scrap piece and this one's like a ticket from my punch, I am definitely gonna pull that in um, with those. So this is my kit, this is what I'm going to use. I sometimes don't mind if I'm working on something and I'm like, ooh, you know what, a brat or something I might throw in there. And it's not my kit, I don't mind because pretty much my kit is already done. So it's just the very few things that I might actually go back into my stash to try to find. So that's it. So let me go ahead and get you fast forward on my pocket page. All right, so the first card I really wanted to work on was that title card. That title card, man, I could have a hundred of those. I like the simplicity of it. It's a bold word that says here, um, which was awesome because it's here right now in this very moment. Where are you? What are you doing? And I thought it was perfect to add uh, the Ellie Studio Teal alphabet stickers for my title, which is going to be Mission San Luis Rey, and then I'm going to add the date for it. Now I also was flipping, going through my little um, basket and I wanted to use one of those puffy geotags. I'm not sure where I'm going to place it, however you're going to see me place it there and then later on I'm going to go back to it. In fact, that night I went back into my room and I was like, you know what, that's just not where I want it and I don't, wasn't sure if it was adhered to the paper, but it really doesn't have a whole lot of stickiness to it. So I moved it up at the top as you can see right there and I'm going to come back to it in a minute. 
Then I went and found some washi tape that I really liked. It's um, a black and white grid. And then I added another L Studio sticker that says noted. Uh, since I was limited on the colors and limited on the words, I thought that one was perfect. I'm hiding the people that ended up were in the picture because I, I was careful not to though cover up any part of the mission. Um, that was one thing I definitely didn't want to add too much embellishments because I really wanted the focus to be on us right where we're at, which it was at the mission. Next, I'm going to that journaling to, uh, three by four card. And as you, I talked earlier, I really wanted to cover up where it says take note for the simple fact that the color did not match with the color that was going on in this uh, pocket page. And so I just took an L Studio tag, cut it down to size, and I'm going to take a roller stamp that has the word today or the words today was. Um, and I thought that was the perfect start to documenting um, that day. Next, I'm going to move on to, I think, the mustard card that you see right there. It's like a mustard yellow. Um, do I focus on that or do I go to the title? No, I go to the title, back to the title page, or not title page, title card. And I'm going to take that washi tape again uh, just to add a lot of cohesiveness to this layout by strip or ripping up the strip and then I can't even talk right now. Sorry, this is like my third attempt to try to start this. And then I'm going to put the geotag down and use some Scotch Quick Dry. Now, I also try to use that washi tape to on that teal 4x6 card that you see at the bottom. There was a pink arrow, and obviously there's no pink in this bread. So what I'm deciding to use, um, or what I decided to use, was some washi tape, but I could still see it. So I'm trying to figure out how what can I use to cover that up. In the meantime, while I'm trying to figure that out, I am moving on to the next card over. And because there was that separation of the pattern and then the white space that you could have journaling or you know, just anything, to be honest, uh, I added the washi tape as well on that because I really like that whole separation. Just kind of adds a little bit of detail to the card and then that's where my picture is gonna go. Now I did swap out the three by four card. As you can see, it's still it's in my basket. It's the one that looks like the composition, like a composition book. I didn't know what I wanted to put as far as a circle. I didn't have the right size punch. Um, and nothing would match that what that I had that were a circle. So I ended up going to my uh, six by six pads, which one thing I love about six by six pads is they're perf perfect for pocket pages. And so I found a paper that I liked, I cut it down, and then I went to my Studio Calico paper, which is the cameras. And that's basically all I've used that paper for is, is cutting out cameras because I don't have a whole lot of orange in my stash and uh, that is a perfect embellishment to add. I added some white alphabet stickers that says a place, explore new places, which, you know, there I just made my own filler card and I really enjoy doing that. Now I'm working on the back side, and this is the uh, card that I had the October of 2015. So because my photo was only four by six, I needed something to cover up that O. So I went into the little um, kit that I made and I had that banner that says happy day and I had to cut it down a little bit, I had to cut down some of the edge, and I also had to cut down the end. Now I'm kind of going back to the front of the page because that's when I had a aha moment uh, of, wait a minute, I had that little tiny scrap that you probably are laughing at me, <laughs> going, Desiree, are you serious? But I probably didn't even realize it was in my little bits and bob basket, like when I kind of merged everything together after I was working probably in a kit. And I mean, but thank goodness I did because it ended up working perfectly to cover up that pink arrow that I wanted to cover. And then I just added a little uh, heart wood veneer. Now I'm moving on to, what am I doing? I think I'm trying to, oh, that's what it was. I wanted to make sure like what cards I could kind of use on the back side, what cards need to be covered up that I couldn't use. Because like I said, I do try to get the most miles out of a card, meaning if I could use the front, I try to see if I can use also the back if the colors coordinate. So now I have uh, these photos. And I'm just kind of figuring out where do I want to place everything. Uh, and as I'm, like I said, I'm just trying to figure it out. And then I'm going to go back to this six by six paper. And as you guys know me, I am one of those ones where if I can, I try to use every single little bit, if it works, uh, for my for my layout or whatever project I'm working on. And 
I ended up making another three by four card, which was perfect because again, I'm having that cohesiveness. And then I had what was left of this lighter green and beige. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make this work. I'm going to add that photo onto a white cardstock, a four by six size. And then I'm gonna glue it all down along with that strip of the two tones. Now, after that, I had that little tiny square piece left. And as you can see, I heart punched, sorry, it was kind of off camera, heart punched um, three little hearts, and then I kept the negative. And I thought, let me see if I can work this in. So then I go back into my little kit that I made, and I had that little ticket, um, again, with that same mustard colored yellow. And I thought, you know, that'd be a perfect spot for that photo because I had some white space in that. And I'm going to use a roller date stamp that says, remember this. Now I have that or not orange, that mustard colored uh, yellow as a uh, circle tag that you see. I'm gonna play around with it. I thought about keeping it right there and I thought about just having it as a filler card, that four by six, but I end up realizing that I'm missing one of the photos that needed to go in this pocket page spread and I'm going to change that. So I'm gonna remove the circle tag and then I'm gonna add a photo in its place. However, I am gonna cut that circle in half and use it um, for that uh, four by six card later on. It just won't make it in the final photos and I apologize for that. So here I am, I'm like, hmm. Okay, so I like the two hearts on what I did up at the top left. I'm not gonna have it on the right of where the orange photo is, but I'm wondering how, where I can use the negative and that's you know me kind of messing around. And then I thought, well, what if I take this little leftover piece here that's kind of a, mushroom kind of color looking and use my file is it a file tab or like it's a file like what do they call those oh, not a rolodex is it rolodex i think but you know what i'm talking about i'm talking about that punch right there uh i end up using that to make my own embellishment and that's one thing that i have been using lately is that punch right there for adding embellishments especially to my pocket pages so i'm going to use that and then house that third heart on top of it and then I have that sticker that you see right there that's kind of like a pinking sticker. I'm going to cut that in half and have it in two places again, just to have that orange kind of go throughout the layout so it doesn't look awkward, like it's out of place. And that is another reason why uh, when I got done filming and I got done taking the final shots, I realized, wait a minute, I only have the yellow in two spots. I need it in one more. And that's why I kind of cut the circle in half and I'm going to place it up on the top of that bottom four by six card. And I mean, this is pretty much coming to an end. I'm not gonna add, do anything to the bottom photo. Like I said, I want to have the focus on the photos. Um, and plus I didn't want to cover up anything once we were inside the church. And that's pretty much it, everybody. This is, like I said, it's coming to an end. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me at, at the Crafty Maven, what, uh, Crafty Maven Getaway. And thank you so much for joining any of us. Um, definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already because there is, is an amazing team that really brings a variety of uh, projects to you guys. Um, so definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you like my style, be sure to check my channel as well. I'll leave the link below um, and hit that subscribe button over there. All right, everybody, thank you so much again for joining us and you have a wonderful day. Bye.